Hello dear all, welcome to Sunday Education Academy. I am Santosh Vag. In this video, we will see question on the try this section, page number 131 of chapter 8, comparing quantities, class 8 mathematics. In this video, we will see how to calculate compound interest when it is compounded half yearly or quarterly. There are different situations. So, let's start our video. See the question on the try this section, page number 131, comparing quantities, class 8 mathematics. Question is given find the amount to be paid first is at the end of two years on rupees 2400 at 5% per annum compounded annually and there is second one also let's see the first one answer for first one solution first one what is given data given is total duration is given total duration is equal to two years then principal amount is given principal amount is equal to rupees 2400 and rate of interest rate of interest is equal to 5% per annum that is important per annum and compounded compounded annually so this is a given data we know if it is compounded annually then there will be the two terms there will be the terms will be two terms for two years so n will be the two then rate of interest five percent per annum as it is compounded annually it will be the same and there is formula for amount to calculate a equal to p into bracket 1 plus r divided by 100 bracket raised to n see here p is principal amount so right here 2400 is principal amount 1 plus rate of interest is 5 divided by 100 and n number of terms will be 2 there are there is duration is 2 years and it is compounded annually means there will be the one term for one annual two terms will be for two years so right here to solve this 2400 into bracket take common denominator 100 100 plus 5 bracket square so it will be the 2400 into bracket 105 divided by 100 bracket square see here to calculate square of 105 105 is equal to 100 plus 5 means 105 square is equal to this bracket square and there is formula a plus b bracket square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square so use this formula square of 100 is 10,000 it is very simple then 2ab Multiplication of these two terms into 2 means 100 into 5, 500 into 2 that will be the 1000 and square of the last term is 25. So add this 10,000 plus 1000, 11,000 and this 25, 11,025. So this will be the square of this. So put this 2400 into bracket square of 105 is 11,025. 25 divided by square of this 100 is 10,000 so subtract then 20 will get cancelled if we solve this we will get take multiplication of 24 to this 11,025 and divide it by 100 we will get 2646 that will be the total amount Principal amount is 2400 and total amount to be paid will be the 2646. This is our final answer. See here, principal amount is always less than this total amount to be paid. Total amount is always greater than this principal amount if there is a interest. Now see the second part. At the end of one year, means find the amount to be paid at the end of one year on rupees 1800 at 8% per annum compounded quarterly see here term compounded quarterly is important 
given data i will write here given is period is given total period is one year one year then principal amount principal amount is rupees 1800 rate of interest rate of interest is equal to 8% per annum that is important per annum is important and compounded compounded quarterly that is also important see this is term quarterly is important this annum is also important so as it is compounded quarterly means there will be the four terms in one year total period is one year so total term total term or period will be four because one term includes three months quarterly means three months so there will be the four terms in one year that is important that is equal to n then rate of interest 8% per annum it is for per annum 8% for quarterly it will be the so r will be the 8 divided by 4 because there are four quarters so there are four quarters in one year so rate of interest will be the 2% use this data and write the formula we know formula a equal to p into bracket 1 plus r divided by 100 bracket is to n so p is rupees 1000 1800 in the bracket 1 plus r we have calculated 2 divided by 100 bracket is to n n is 4 number of terms will be the fourth because one term is quarter so there will be the four terms in one year total duration is one year there will be the four terms of each quarter so calculate this 1800 into bracket take 100 as common denominator 100 plus 2 bracket is to 4 so solve this 1800 into bracket 100 plus 2 102 divided by 100 into this is a raised to 4 so it is 4 times 102 divided by 100 102 divided by 100 102 divided by 100 20 will get cancel here there will be the 18 into 10 now see 102 into 102 if we take 102 square we can write here, here as 100 plus 2 bracket square and we know the formula a plus b bracket square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square equal to now see here a is 100 and b is 2 so square of 100 we know 10000 plus multiplication of this into 2 that will be the 100 into 2 200 into 2 that will be the 400 and square of this will be the 2 will be 4 so it will be the 10404 so square of 102 is 10404 there will be the two times so 18 into square of this 102 and 102 will be 10404 into again multiplication of this will be the 10404 divided by this 100 this 100 and this last one 100 similarly take the multiplication and solve you will get rupees 1948.37 this is the total amount to be paid see here principal amount is 1800 and total amount after calculating interest to one year that will be the rupees 1948.37 rupees so this is our final answer this is all for this video we will meet again in our next video do learn do enjoy thank you